Hey y'all, time for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing two products by Sasha. I'm going to be reviewing their mattifying face primer, this one, and I'm also going to be reviewing the infamous Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm going to show you guys how I used it. I've been using it for the past week, so I'll give you my thoughts on it. I will tell you what the company claims as far as the product's performance, and then at the end of the video, I will tell you how much the product costs, where you can buy it, and whether or not I think you should go out and make that purchase. So if you want to see this review, keep watching. Y'all look so bald headed. I, I just slicked it down, I swear. That's it. <laughs> okay, first of all, I've been wearing this powder and this mattifying primer all week on my what I call my work face. So I've used it each day of the week when I go to work. And what I do is apply this, apply a light foundation, a light layer of foundation. I set it. I conceal my under eye bags and I've been using it to conceal my under eye bags as well. I've also tried it as an all over setting powder and I've let it stay all day. And then I've come home to see how well the products work as far as oil absorption goes. That's one of the claims. So this is not like a first impression. I'm just going to show you today how I use it, but I have been using it for about a week now. So I do have a little bit of insight on how the product actually works and how it holds up over time. Okay, I'm going to read the claims uh, that the company makes. This is ideal for medium to dark skin tones. It's recommended for light to medium skin tones because it can highlight, it can set or bake your concealer, or it can be used as an all over face powder. It does not give off a white cast or turn ashy in bright lighting or photos. It absorbs oil, reduces shine, and keeps your face matte for hours. You can definitely use it as an all over uh, face powder setting powder or you can use it uh, to bake. Today I used it to bake. I don't bake under my eye because I have under eye bags and I don't like for that area to be cakey and too dry and my under eye area tends to be dry anyway but I use it to set my concealer. I did bake in this area so I have used it to bake in here and I bake around uh, my nose so I have definitely used it both ways and it works both ways it's really finely milled it's a really soft powder but it's something about that yellow tint that yellow tint is what sets it off because I have a yellow undertone and then brown skin which seems to be problematic for brands a lot of times creating colors that work for us but this powder having that yellow tinge to it it just melts into your skin like other powders don't other powders tend to sit on your skin even the better ones but this because of that yellow melt right in and you can barely you know detect it it gives you a more I don't know like smooth kind of flawless finish than other powders can do it also to me did not highlight any like creases or any um, texture in the skin none of that because it's so finely milled and because it's so soft now as far as the oil absorption it did last a long time so I do my makeup at about let's see probably about I probably don't my whole face at about 8 o'clock in the morning I usually get home at a, between 5 30 and 6 p.m. I will say by the time I got home my face was oily not like greasy crazy you know greasy 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 sliding off my face but it was ready for a touch-up and one night what I even did was I went ahead and I touched my face up when I got home and then I just left my makeup on instead of taking it off until it was time for me to shower and go to bed. And that one touch up got me all the way through to like 10 p.m. So you're talking about putting on foundation at 8 a.m. in the morning, touching up one time and being able to make it till 10 p.m. That to me is excellent wear time. I don't know of any other product that I can say, you know, would give me the kind of color and coverage that this powder does and also lasts that long. Now let's move on to the mattifying primer. After I finish going through this, then I'm gonna show you guys how I used both uh, products on my face today. This says, this is a lightweight mattifier and face primer. It absorbs excess oils, smooth skin, and reduces the appearance of fine lines and pores. You can apply all over your entire face or just your T-zone. It can be worn alone or under foundation and it dries invisible. Now, I will say it dries invisible. When I first got it and I put some of it into my hand, I was a little nervous because it's white. And I was like, this is gonna dry and leave like 
you know white streaks or like a white cast on my face because there are other mattifying primers that are white like that which leave a cast or streaks on your face that you have to either blend out or try to cover up with the foundation um, a lot of primers are clear so you don't have that worry but this one is white and it does dry absolutely clear there was nothing on my face one day I even just put it all over and then I just let it for, sit for like 20 minutes to see if it was gonna turn white did not turn white whatsoever the mattifying primer does work I used it the same day that I was saying I used this and only had to touch up one time I used the mattifying primer that day as well I've used both these products for the last five days it worked exceptionally well kept me matte did not make me crusty matte you know some things like they'll make you matte and they absorb the oil but your skin is dry um, underneath your makeup and you don't want that the skin still needs to be hydrated and because the weather has changed it's cooler the air is drier you just you'll get cakey if it's one of those type uh, primers this is not and it definitely did work I was able to get easy eight hours out of it every day and on the day that I stretched it I got 10 plus hours okay so that covers it for the claims the company makes for how long I've tried the product out and for some of my initial thoughts on it now what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I did this face using these two products and I will come back in the end give you the price and tell you whether or not I think you should go out and make that purchase the face now this the Sasha buttercup setting powder is $20 I definitely like the product I think it is definitely an above average product I would say it's a very good product definitely worth the $20 you get a lot of product for $20 and this works this works for women of color for women with brown skin for women who have undertones that are not commonly marketed to it does not give you flashback I've taken pictures with this on and it absolutely sets your makeup and it does keep you matte let me tell you how much product you get this is 1.25 ounces for $20 and you see this I, this is gonna last me well over a year so for $20 absolutely I would say go out and pick this up the mattifier face primer that's what it's called mattifier face primer <laughs> is $20 and there is one fluid ounce in this bottle, jar, whatever you call it. To, as far as my thoughts, this worked. This was good. This I feel like is for what I call like the everyday woman. If you want to put some primer on, throw on your powder and go to work, you can do it with this. If you want to put some powder on, put some foundation on, go to work, you can do it with this. If you need something that's gonna hold you all night because you're going to an event or you're doing something special, this works. So for me, I think it's an all around product. It does keep you matte. I did, like I said, like I said, have to touch up one time, but that was in like a 10 to 12 hour span. So to me, that's normal. It did not leave my face cakey, you know, dry feeling, crusty, none of that stuff. It went on very smoothly. I applied a thin layer, did not turn white. For $20, I say run out and buy this. This is gonna last me so long. Even if I'm using this every single day, I'm probably only gonna have to purchase this two, maybe three times in a year. So you're talking about $60 to get a product that works for everyday wear or for special occasion wear. 
I would say definitely pick it up. I'm gonna leave all of the links below. Like I said, these products were sent to me, but they are not paying me to do this review. So this is not a paid promotion. This is not a sponsored video. I was just sent the products to review and that's what I'm doing for you guys. So let me zoom you in so you can see the face up close. So you can see how smooth everything looks. So hold on. Okay, this is up close. I'm sorry I'm looking in the monitor, but I need to see what I'm showing you. This is how smooth, look at my skin. This is where I like use it around my nose here. This is where I did my highlights. Up here, I used it all over. I used it underneath my contour. And this looks beautiful as you can see. Like it looks really, really good y'all. Like it's really pretty. Really smooth, really nice finish. I love it. All right, bye, we gotta zoom back out. Okay y'all, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this review has helped you. If you're looking for products, definitely check these two out. If you just like to know about new products so that when you're ready to purchase, you have the information. I hope this video provided that for you guys. As always, if you're a supporter and a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please leave a comment. Please ask any questions you have. I will always get back to you guys down in the comment section. If you're new to my channel and you like my content, please think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And until next time, y'all, bye.